Hi guys, welcome back to today's tutorial. My name is Charles Fitz. In today's video, we'll be making a bustier with a yoke. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Now we'll be using a pattern paper first before I cut the main fabric. I'll go ahead and place the basic body we need for the bustier. This is my shoulder line. This is my boss points, this under boss, and this is my half length. The boss point is 10.5 inches, while the under boss is 14.5, and the half length is 16.5 inches. Now, my armhole length is 18 divided by 2 will give me 9 inches. I'll go ahead and mark 9 inches for my armhole. My chest line is 16 inches divided by 2 give me 8 inches. Then I went ahead and add half inch making it 8.5 inches. So this 8.5 inches here. So I will as well mark 8.5 inches. This is 8.5 inches and this is from the 9 inches here. Then I'll join the line together. Then with my straight ruler, I will as well join this way. This is 9 inches here. Three point five plus half inch, making it four inches. I'll go ahead and mark four inches all through. Then I'll connect the lines together. From my waistline, I'll I'll remove one inch here and half inch here at the middle. Point. Then at the underboss, I'll remove two inches from this side and half inch here as well. I'll connect the lines. Now from my boss point, I'll come down by one inch. Just to avoid a sharp point here. So I'll connect this line to this line and this line to this line.
Then I'll take it to this point and join it together. Now for my measurements. Remember, this is my bust line. This is my bust point. This is my under bust. And this is my waist line. My bust measurement is 39 inches divided into 4 will give me 9.8 inches. This is 9.8 inches, yeah? Now what I have here is 2 inches. I'll go ahead and add 2 inches to it plus extra 2 inches, making it 4 inches. Now my waist measurement is 36 inches divided into 4 will give me 9 inches. This is 9 inches, yeah? I will measure what I have here. I have 2.5 inches. I will mark 2.5 inches plus extra 2 inches, making it 4.5 inches. So I'll go ahead and join the lines together. From this point, I'll connect it to meet the armhole curve. The same thing I have here. Now, by the time I finish cutting, is what I should be having. Yeah. And this will be my yoke. And see that? So, while cutting, I will give a space, half inch, for this downside for the joining and the upper part so i will go ahead and add extra one inch to this when i'm cutting it so this for the front i'll go ahead and cut the back now this is for the back pattern i'll cut it sh with shoulder it's not gonna be yoke so the front is yoke while the back is sh with shoulder so i'm having the, the shoulder line the chest line the boss point, the under boss, and the half length. And I've, I went ahead to mark my armhole measurement, which is nine inches. Now, at this point now, this is my chest line. I've already marked my boss to boss, which is four inches. And from this boss point, I will mark one inch above i just went up by one inch and i'll connect it to this line here now the for the back pattern 
you i don't need to slant the armhole side it's gonna be straight so what i'll do now is to place my boss circumference which is 39 inches divided by 4 will give me 9.8 so this is 9.8 here I just have to curve it from here. I'll curve it here. The next thing I'll do from this west line, I'll remove half inch from the both sides, half inch here and half inch here. Then I'll connect it to this boss point. This is my boss point. Now for my neckline. I'll mark four inches. Then I'll come down by three inches. Then I'll connect it. So this for my next line. Now my waist measurement is 36. 36 divided by Four will give me nine inches plus the one inch that allowance here. This is my nine inches plus one inch. Then I'll add extra 1.5 inches, making it 2.5 inches. Why from my bust measurement? My bust measurement is 9.8 inches here. Yeah? Now go ahead and add extra 1.5 inches. Then I'll connect the lines. Then this is my zip allowance for the zipper. So from this west line, I will remove half inch to avoid the bulging at the back. I will remove half inch, remove 1.5 inches for the zip allowance. You can see that. So from this point now, I will connect it to this edge. Just to slant it. To avoid the botching at the back. Then at this point, I'll go ahead and cut it out. like you can leave it open like so if you like you can cut it out but i will leave it when i place it in my fabric to cut i can go ahead and open it up so guys you can see the pattern this is for the front pattern and this is for the back pattern so you try it out it's very simple and easy you can now go ahead and place it on your fabric to cut so guys, keep watching. In my next video, I will show you how to place it on your fabric and sew. I will show you the full detail on how to sew it. So guys, I hope this video is helpful. If it's helpful, drop your comment at the comment section. If you are new to my channel, you are highly welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up. Share to your friends. And bye until I see you in my next video.